Hi everyone, so welcome to Be Keeping While Black. I have some Brussels sprouts in the fridge, so let's go and make some Brussels sprouts. I want them to be um, well flavored. Um, one thing that I'm trying different than normal, I actually am not a huge fan of using like an air fryer or an oven to make um, Brussels sprouts. I find I don't want them charred, and so I'm gonna try to boil them instead. It looks like it's a pretty easy process, but I'm just gonna take you along for the journey, but hopefully this is a recipe that you can try. But first, please like and subscribe for more beekeeping while black content. Thanks. So right here, I'm just boiling in a medium sized pan um, at a high heat um, water. And then while that is going, I am just starting to cut my Brussels sprouts in half. Um, Please know I'm looking at it and I very much feel like I'm gonna cut my own fingers just looking at it I was safe however it does look a little scary but I'm just cutting the Brussels sprouts um, the long way there were a few Brussels sprouts that kind of had um, little pieces that I didn't quite like um, in the freshness sense or just the stems were just a little long so I just went through and did a whole bag for myself of Brussels sprouts I'm um, cutting them in half and that is very easy um, it makes it easier for it to be cooked and then also you know when you're eating it will just be easier on that end to be able to get the Brussels sprouts so I highly suggest going through the process of just cutting it in half and you know it doesn't take long so it's just something to do while you wait for the water to boil Skipping ahead, I am now done with my Brussels sprouts and now I'm just putting them into the pot. Um, I don't suggest holding a phone while trying to do this because it definitely created more of a splatter, which is not great with boiling water. So at this point, the um, Brussels sprouts are just in the pot and now you just keep them in there for about four minutes. When making the Brussels sprouts, I highly suggest that you do no more than three to four minutes of cooking. Um, something to note is that the Brussels sprouts will very much look the same from um, them being raw versus cooked. So you really may have to taste test it just to see if it's at the consistency, but I really um, suggest do not overcook it. Okay, so I just put some butter in. Um, I didn't really measure. I just kind of did how much I thought would be decent. And I really, um, after I drained it, I wanted to take advantage of the steam. So I quickly added the butter to really get the consistency in. It took a little bit longer for that big old chunk to melt. But it ended up being fine as I continued to add the other ingredients. So here is the Kim Chili um, brand that I used. I got it at Whole Foods. Um, I think you can just measure it. Um, however, you know, you can kind of just eyeball it um, for whatever measure you want I wanted to add enough so that it was well coated throughout the mixture of the Brussels sprouts and so it ended up being a level of spice that I felt to be good it really wasn't that spicy at all so it ended up being a perfect combo um, and then to just kind of counter some of the spiciness I added honey um, and I just kind of did it and you can kind of just eyeball it and until you feel like it's enough and that's the final um, product I put it into a smaller container and that is the Kim chili Brussels sprouts it's so good very flavorful I highly suggest very quick to make um, please let me know if you make it or not and tell me how you like it all right, y'all. So this recipe, I think, is a, is a success. I will definitely try it again. I definitely like the texture, the not charred um, taste from not using the oven. So I definitely think I will boil it um, in the future, especially because it only takes like four minutes tops. Um, you really don't want to overcook the Brussels sprouts um, because otherwise they'll get mushy in taste and also very bitter in taste. So it really is a very quick process to get done. Um, so I highly suggest it in the future. Um, let me know if you try it this way. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe um, for more content. Thanks. Thanks so much for watching the video. Please like the video and subscribe. I really appreciate the support for the channel. Bye.